Hi guys, this is Sadek from Groidman.com. So as you might be aware, beginning with Android 12 and in Android 13 as well, Google has introduced quite a few UI changes. The primary among them is the Material U theming engine. But apart from that, it has also done a few UI tweaks as well. And some of these UI changes were just not required. For example, till Android 11, you could easily enable or disable the Wi-Fi with just a single tap. However, from Android 12 onwards and in Android 13, you will now have to first tap on the internet tile which will bring up the Wi-Fi menu and from there you have to select the desired Wi-Fi and connect to it. And you will have to do this every time whenever you connect to a Wi-Fi. This asks for too much additional efforts. So is there a way out? Well, there is one. And in this video, we will show you how to revert your Wi-Fi settings to as it was in Android 11 and before version. So without any further ado, let's get started. First and foremost, you will have to enable the USB debugging as well as wireless USB debugging. So go to settings, about phone, scroll to the bottom and tap on build number 7 times. You should get a message that you are now a developer. Now go back, go to system, developer option and then enable USB debugging and tap on allow. After that, enable wireless USB debugging and tap on allow as well. Once that is done, go to Play Store, search for Shizuku app and install it. For the unaware, Shizuku app provides a wireless debugging interface. This means that you could easily execute the desired ADB commands without even the need of PC. All that is done is using your device Wi-Fi only. So install this app and tap on open. Then as you could see, Shizuku is currently not running. So scroll to the bottom and go to the start via wireless debugging. Then tap on pairing. It will first ask you to give the notification access. So tap on notification option and enable all Shizuku notifications. Then go back and again go to pairing and this time tap on developer options. After that scroll to wireless debugging and tap on pair device with pairing code. Your device has now got a pairing code and you could see the Shizuku has also found a pairing service. So tap on enter pairing code and type in the code that you see. 081418 then tap enter as you could see the pairing has been now successful so let's close the dialog box now go back go to the pairing page do a back once again and this time tap on start under start via wireless debugging so tap on start and you might get a prompt once again in that case go to developer option disable the wireless debugging and then re-enable it and tap on allow now again go back to the pairing page and as you could see this time the service has been started. To re-verify re the same scroll to the top and you could see that Shizuku is now running. So well and good. Now your next course of action is to install the Better Internet Tiles app. So tap on install and wait for it to be installed. Once the app gets installed open it and as soon as it opens you go to the request Shizuku access and tap on it. Shizuku will now bring up a pop-up, tap on allow all the time. As you could see the Shizuku access has been granted. So minimize this app, go to the settings menu, quick setting toggle and tap on the pencil icon. Now scroll to the bottom and you could now see the Wi-Fi tiles from the better internet tiles. So long press on it and then send it to the top of your page. That's it. Now do a back. And let as you could now see the PPC 119A is my Wi-Fi. On a single tap, I could switch it off. Similarly, on a single tap, I could turn it back on. There is no need for anything else. As you could see, the Wi-Fi has been turned on. Now on long pressing this, you could also access the Wi-Fi settings page. So let me show you again. On the right hand side, the internet type is something you see in Android 13. And on the left hand side is the one that we have added by using a tweak. So guys, this was all from this video. Now there is one more thing I would like you to know that if you own a rooted device, if your phone, in other words, if your phone is rooted by a magisk, then you could easily do this process even more easily. In that case, you don't even need to use the Shizuku app. In other words, if your phone is rooted, you don't even require a wireless debugging process. Let me show you how. So first and foremost, let's uninstall all the apps. Let's uninstall Shizuku as well. Now for the rooted device, all that they have to do is just install the better internet tiles app. 
and wait for it to be installed. As soon as the app gets installed, open it and you will now get a magic prompt. Tap on grant. As you could see the app has been granted super user rights. Now go to the quick setting tiles, tap on the plus icon and you could see the Wi-Fi from the better internet tiles. As before drag and drop it to the top of your screen and you could easily control the Wi-Fi from this menu. So one major benefit of using a rooted phone is that you could easily enable disable this tweak without even the need for a wireless debugging. However, rooting the device just for this tweak might not be the best recommendation. So it's up to you. If you own a rooted phone, then you will not even need the wireless debugging. However, if you don't have a phone which is rooted, then your best course of action is to go for the Shizuku app as well as the wireless debugging prompt. So guys, on that note, we round off this video. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section. And please subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.